Uh, Dr. James Sears, pediatrician to the stars. No, not the stars, though. Um, so first off, we're heading into this sort of back-to-school season. Uh, kids are all mingling again together. Can you tell us what are some of the diseases that parents should be looking out for? Well, now that it's back-to-school time, uh, you know, there's got to be a lot of illnesses like the common cold, ringworm, chicken pox, head lice, uh, pink eye. Those are the, the top five that tend to to rear their ugly head once it's time to back, go back to school. And uh, head lice, you mentioned that among them. Can you talk a little bit about what head lice is, are and, and how they're transmitted? Well, head lice is kind of a nasty problem kids get at school. Um, you know, there can be symptoms of, you know, itchiness or there may no be, be no symptoms at all. Sometimes the only way you know your child has ch uh, uh, head lice is you get a, a call from school. Um, it's very easily spread amongst children, especially in close quarters like school or home. Um, you know, and it's uh, spread by direct contact or sharing hats, scarves, combs, or brushes. Now, there are many misconceptions out there about, uh, about head lice. Can you talk a little bit about what some, of the, what some of those misconceptions are? Some of the misconceptions about head lice are that it, uh, if a child gets it, somebody thinks they, they're not clean enough or they're dir a dirty kid. Absolutely not true. Uh, uh, head lice has nothing to do with hygiene. As a matter of fact, head lice prefer a clean scalp. Another myth is that if you get head lice, you need to cut their hair short or shave their head. Absolutely false. Uh, if your child has long hair, they can keep it. You don't have to, to cut the hair at all. You just need to treat the lice effectively, effectively with some sort of uh, lice treatment. And uh, can you talk a little bit about what a parent, what, what a parent would notice, how they would know if their if their kid has uh, has a case of head lice? Um, what to look for is you kind of have to look through the hair, uh, kind of behind the ear is the best place to look, um, or in the back of the head. Um, and you might see little creepy crawlies, uh, little lice crawling around. They're about a little bit bigger than a flea. And, um, or you might see the eggs. Those look like little grains of sand that are attached to the hair shaft. Um, kind of tricky to see, but if you look for them, uh, you'll find them. And, uh, and what are some of the different ways that you can actually treat head lice? Uh, some of the treatments for head lice, um, there's the old way of uh, the pesticide-based treatments. I was never a big fan of those because of side effects. One was even taken off the market. There's some alternative treatments like mayonnaise or Vaseline, but those are, aren't terribly convenient. You've got to leave them in the hair overnight. Uh, not that fun to wash out. Uh, some of the new pesticide-free treatments, there's a few out there. LiceMD is one of them. I really like it. It's uh, very safe. It works uh, uh, there's a, it's a physical action, not a chemical reaction, so there's no pesticides to worry about, zero side effects to worry about, very, very safe for kids. And, uh, and, and once you treat, with, uh, you treat your kid with, with one, of these, uh, one of these treatments, how long does it take to get rid of the headlines? Um, uh, the new pesticide-free treatments are very nice and convenient because they're quick. Uh, they act very quickly, about 10 minutes and the lice are gone. Um, they, they literally fall right out of the, the, uh, the hair. Um, and then after that uh, comes the, uh, the most important part, the comb out. And the hair will be nice and lubricated from the product. And then uh, you just take their fine tooth comb that comes in the package and comb out all the hair. And that's how you, you're, you're, you're making sure all the eggs or nits uh, are, are taken out of the hair. And that's the most important part. And can you talk a little bit about what can be done to get uh, to get the head lice out of the home, you know, out of the bed or, or, or other clothing and stuff like that? The, uh, in terms of laundry and bedding, uh, the sheets and the pillowcases need to be washed in hot water. Anything that can't be uh, laundered, like a stuffed animal, needs to be put in a, um, a Ziploc bag, sealed shut, and left there for about a week or so, and that will uh, limit, uh, kill the lice. Lice don't survive very long off of uh, the head. And uh, finally, can you tell us uh, if there's a website people can go to and, and if so, what kind of information is there that people will find? Uh, parents can go to the website um, LiceMD.com and there they can find instructional videos on how to look for lice, how to properly check your child for lice, and then how to properly treat it, how to uh, the comb out procedure that I talked about. They can see videos on how to do that the right way. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you.